Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I've got for you this Toyota Yaris TR VVTi with the registration number Delta November 13 Oscar Yankee Lima. Now as always I'm going to do a quick walk around just so you can see the condition of the car and then we're going to jump inside and then you're going to see all the gizmos and gadgets that the car comes with. Um, I do apologize it's a bit late, uh, it's almost half past four and the sun is uh, already going on the other side of the world. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna give you the details and then uh, hopefully you can see inside. But it is absolutely lovely, it's very, very good condition. Um, it drives absolutely superb. But anyway, um, this is, uh, like I said, it's a Toyota Yaris VVTi TR 1.3 liter petrol. It puts out 98 brake horsepower. It was first registered on the 7th of June, 2013. It's got a valid MOT until the 2nd of June 2024, so plenty of MOT left. And it's got an annual road tax of £150. In terms of CO2 output, it puts out 123 grams per kilometre, which helps it being um, that low in the um, tax bracket. And uh, it sits on the insurance group 8E, which is very, very low. In terms of fuel economy, you can expect to get around... 40 41 miles per gallon around town and 62 miles per gallon on a motorway run uh, performance you're looking at a top speed of 109 miles per hour again not something i would recommend but it's there if you want it and it has a not to 60 time of 11.7 seconds not the fastest thing out there but it's not built for speed um, this is a good reliable nice little car to take you from a to b um, comfortably not fast um, previous MOT passed without any advisories so yeah it is a very very well looked after car I do have the service book for it as well it's got nine stamps in the book so it's been a very very well looked after car um, just to show you the inside so you've got your uh, window switch there your um, door opening lever Seats are in very good condition. There's no tears or rips or anything like that on the seats. And you've got a little cubby here. Well, quite a shallow one, but it is there. And then down here, you've got your owner's manual as normal. Um, moving over to the rear side. You do have a manual um, windows on the rear. so. And that's the other part of the owner manual, I think. So it's got quite a few booklets in there. Um, again, the seats are in very, very good condition. There's no tears or rips or anything like that in the seats. Um, you've got one little pocket there behind the... I don't know what this is. Just some plastic. Anyway, um, so you've got a little pocket there. Surprisingly, it's missing on the driver's side. I've seen this with Toyotas quite, quite a lot, actually. Um, Anyway, let's move over to the rear. You've got your four mats in there. I haven't put them in the car yet, but they are in the rear here. Um, you've got your parcel shelf. And if I'm not mistaken, this one should come. Yes, you do have a spare tire with this one as well. Happy days. Uh, it does have a reversing camera as well. I mean, it is a quite a small little car. It fits pretty much everywhere, but I guess reverse camera does help sometimes um, it does have rear tinted windows which um, makes it look a little bit cooler <laughs> if that's if that's the proper word for it um, but no obviously it keeps the sun away so if you have kids in the rear um, and the alloys are really really nice they look absolutely lovely so yeah um, it keeps the sun away having tinted windows um, so kids are not gonna sweat like crazy in the rear here um, speaking of which it does come with AC as well it works absolutely fine there's no issues whatsoever um, moving over to the driver's side so you got two electric windows lock and unlock for the um, doors and then you've got a little cubby down there <clears throat> to put some a bottle of water or something it does come with two keys as well standard Toyota keys um, over here you've got your mirror adjustment left and right so they are electric and this is where you adjust the headlamp position and let's just jump inside the car so 
as you can see you've got a multifunction steering wheel where you can control the volume uh, stations up and down this is where you select the mode and that's for your phone connectivity it does have bluetooth both for calls and streaming so if you want to listen to music directly through the uh, car speakers you can do so uh, you got a little, little cubby in there not the deepest one but it's practical to put i don't know some keys or some change or something like that so key goes in the ignition all the lights come on as they should and it starts right on the button there's no um light or anything like that the only ones flashing well the only ones uh, on right now is the fact that i've got my door open the handbrake and the fact that my seat belt is not on um as you can see quite low mileage 81,489 so this is a uh, very low for the for the age and moving over here this is where it shows you if the rear three seat belts are fastened uh, that's to say that the airbag is on for the passenger and uh, like I said you've got sat nav and reverse which is lift Right, sorry about that. Um, the phone decided to start it to play up a bit because it connected to the Bluetooth of the car and then the recording stopped for some reason. But anyway, um, as I was showing you, um, it does have a reverse camera, so you just put it in reverse and the camera starts straight away. Uh, there you go. It's, it's a very clear camera as well. I mean, it is a 2013, I guess, so it is pretty clear. Um, but yeah, um, down here you've got your climate control. So AC, that's your fan speed and that's the heat intensity. Um, moving down there, you've got a 12 volt socket over there and you've got two cup holders and a little cubby behind that. And over here, you've got your six speed manual gearbox. Now, um, I'm gonna show you that there's no crunches or anything like that when you go into gear. So foot on the clutch. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth sixth and obviously reverse so there's no problems with the clutch whatsoever or the gearbox it drives absolutely superb over here you've got your um uh, i'll get back to that in a second i'm <laughs> just Traction control, that's the word I was looking words I was looking for. Traction control, that's your traction control button to turn it off and on. And you've got your handbrake here, and you've got a couple more cubbies there, and you've got another um, cup holder there, and another little cubby at the rear. So quite a few cubbies in this in this particular car. Um, turn the lights on so you can see the dashboard illuminates as it should. And the ref counter is not fluctu fluctuating at all. It it stays perfectly still. There's literally no issues with the car whatsoever. It drives absolutely superb. And as you can see, it's already 4.30 and the sun is barely still out. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it's got a very, very good service history. It's got nine stamps in the book. Um, it's been very well looked after it's been serviced recently as well and the car is on at the moment i don't know if you can even hear it i don't know if you can hear it but um the car is on at the moment uh, as you can see the lights are going fast actually do you know what let me just pop the bonnet might as well just pop the bonnet it's down there <laughs> and then there's a catch right above the Toyota sign and that just lifts up and now you can probably hear it it's a very basic no thrills good reliable Toyota engine the 1.3 has been very very reliable actually from uh, from the Toyota especially on the Yaris's the one liter the one liter Yaris are the ones that tend to um, drink oil a little bit and not very reliable but the problem with those is that there is a three cylinder as well so cars are really struggling to um, keep up with the speed and with the acceleration and everything but this is a 1.3 so it's 
one of the most reliable ones they've made. I mean, the Toyota Yaris is one of the most reliable cars ever made anyway. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you are interested and would like to uh, view it, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, you can find me on 01684 355032 and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.